Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Dean and today I'm here with you for another yarn haul video. And as always, we cannot talk yarn without me here having my faithful mug of tea, which today is um, the green tea that I have with a flavor of mandarin and orange. And honestly, you know, I don't drink a lot of green teas, but this is just absolutely gorgeous. It's from Fine Flavors. So yeah, it's just this wonderful green tea and it's um, actually from Sri Lanka. So it's Sri Lankan green tea. Mm, it's a nice one, comfy one. But let's talk about the yarn because I'm sure you tuned in on this channel to watch the yarn haul. And this yarn haul video is going to be my eighth yarn haul from Linda Hobby. Um, and Actually, if you watched my last yarn haul from Linda Hobby, you would have realized that um, the parcel I received was open and I missed two skeins and I contacted them to say, hey, how are we going to solve this? Are you going to ship me the skeins or are you going to refund me or will you give me a voucher towards a new purchase or whatever? Because obviously I didn't get my full money's worth. Um, and I contacted them, we were contact form on the website and they didn't reply for like a week. Um, so I was getting a bit impatient because I'm like, this is a large, reasonably large company. They should be able to respond within a week. Um, so I wrote them again, uh, because I found an email address to them. So I actually, instead of the contact form on the website, I contacted them directly via email and I had a reply within like 40, uh, no, 24 hours and, uh, it was solved. Uh, they refunded me, uh, the value of the missing yarns because it wasn't yarns that was missing for a project planned of course i had ideas for the yarn um but it wasn't a project as such that they were a part of that i was missing so in that sense i was lucky enough and then i was like okay i'd rather just have the money and use them for maybe another purchase if i see a good good offer and that's what i did basically because i got a new yarn haul because i saw a really good order uh, order <laughs> good offer on the website um, on some cakes and some of their own, so some of their own brand yarns, they had like 40% discount on them. Great offer, better than when you normally buy multiple of some of their yarns. They do give extra discounts. Here, I could just buy them outright without considering the amount of skeins, etc. It was just like 40% off, regardless of which yarns of their brand line that you would buy, which I did. So I got this box and it's probably the first time then I've gotten a box from them. It's pretty light, so from a box this size, I imagine like that I can till it up. So you see, it's, it's simply because of the type of yarns that's in them. And that's also probably why I got it as a box. They are in volume, I, I assume. Um, the box does not feel stuffed to the brim, but I think it was just too big to be in those polymer bags that they normally send. And maybe, I don't know if they wrote down that the polymer bags went bad last time they went to me. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we will open this box together. Um, it does have classic standard taping. Not like a lot. Um, but it is, it's closed. And it's definitely not totally full because it is slightly bent in the center, which tells me it's not full. But that's okay. In fact, I could actually use a box to some of my yarns, so I might actually be able to repurpose this one. So I got the box open and there is a sneak peek here of some yarns. But it is a reasonably empty box compared to what I normally have from them, definitely. Fine. I only have three types of yarns ordered and that's absolutely cool. Um, so let's go through the yarns that I ordered. Um, I ordered one of their soft cakes, Linda Hobby soft cake, which is this gorgeous one. They do have a center pull tab as you can see here. If you look at them without the center pull, it's like just this lovely white to black. They named it um, Black Diamond. And I totally agree. It's like, it's a lovely color. And I love the fact that it's neutrals. Like 
well, I have a black shirt on right now, but I really love um, blacks, blacks to whites, uh, and you have this grays in between. So um, it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous shawl is the idea of it right now. Um, and I have some in my stash already. I had one at least, so I might end up giving one away. But it was a great offer. They were really, really cheap compared to the first time around when I bought them uh, back in the spring. Um, yeah, let's see. This um, Linda Hobby Soft Cakes Yarn Specs is composition of 50% cotton and 50% acrylics. They require knitting needles of three, two to three millimeters. The same goes for the crochet hooks. Um, yarns weighing here it says 250 grams, so that equals 8.82 .8 ounces. For this, you get a thousand meters or 1093 yards. Lay flat to dry, it can be ironed at low or wash and wash at 30 degrees Celsius. 30 degrees Celsius is like um, 85 Fahrenheit. Do not tumble dry, do not bleach. Uh, do not dry clean, even. It's a colorway one, which is the black diamond, as we mentioned. And that's basically, and it is really soft. Definitely, it's a nice soft composition here. And um, it's a multiple stranded yarn. Let's see. Um, it's partially open here because of the center pull. But you're going to work with uh, four thin strands of yarn. Let's see if I can actually decently show it here. Yes, there are four different individual strands of yarn that you're holding together to create your yarn. Um, and it's a really, really nice soft feel to this cake. It's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colors. So definitely a winner. Then I have one of their woolly cakes and i got this one because i have one already and i wanted to make a poncho and i do believe i need two to have enough yarns uh, again it's one of these many future idea projects we have so many of those don't we um so let's talk about this yarn if i don't remember wrong this is the one they call beige uh, it is beige nudist sandy tones um where you have this light brown to a beige to a be so to a sandy white. So it's like it's really these sandy nude colors. Um, and woolly cake, as the name indicates, contains wool. In fact, this cake contains 50% uh, wool and 50% acrylics. Um, they recommend knitting needles of three and a half to four and a half millimeters. For the crochet hooks, that's the same, three and a half to four and a half millimeters. This cake is 200 grams, so it is lighter than the soft cake. Um, and that's so that's 7.05 ounces for this you get uh, 700 meters of yarn which is about 765 yards it can be ironed at low lay flat to dry and uh, wash at 30 degrees celsius again 85 fahrenheit do not tumble dry do not bleach and i think do not dry clean either so generally they recommend not to dry clean Again, this is the same. This is a, a, a multi-stranded yarn. That's easy to see here. If we actually get up this one, Let's see if I can do that. It's also a four-stranded yarn here that you're working with to create your yarn. But um, as you can hear, they are quite a bit sh shorter also than the soft cakes, so they are a little bit thicker. And with the woolen content, I think that would be really nice for a puncher, but it could also be really, really nice for a shawl or something like that to keep you warm in winter. Um, but because I had this idea for a puncho in these colors, um, I needed an extra one because I wanted to make like uh, two identical like long pieces and then like somehow combine them together, which make would make like one side and then the other side somehow. I'm not really completely sure how to, but I saw some inspiration somewhere. So it's something that's puzzling in my mind. Uh, I might make it a sign or something like that. Um, but that was the idea that I had for this yarn. Then, of course, I have some more woolly cakes. Um, 
Well, that's not necessarily an of course. But these are actually still wrapped in plastic, so I don't know if they come in two from the factory or what, but I am. Well, they do really seem like they could be in four in here. Um, just gotta put that one shortly away. So they are both identical. Let's see. These are also the woolly cakes. Again, absolutely gorgeous feeling. Mm. You can feel it's wool in there. Like you don't 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 be fooled. It's not as soft as a merino wool. Um, and you can smell a bit of wool, but it's not bad. This is also called black diamond, so they kept the name similar. Again, colorway one. Um, and the specs are the same, of course, as the sand. So 50% wool, 50% acrylics. Um, three and a half to four and a half millimeter knitting needles or crochet hooks. 200 grams or seven ounces to 700 meters or 765 yards. Yeah. I think they're gorgeous. Um, and it could also be that I decide to use black ones instead. Poncho. Not sure, but puncher shawls is mainly what I'm thinking on when I got these cakes. Um, at least the woolly ones. That was that was with the puncher in mind. So I'm not really sure which colors I will be using, and I'm not even sure when I will be starting on it because I have so many projects that I have planned to make. Basically, I need an early retirement, and I don't still think I can make it all before I die. I have so much yarn. Um, <clears throat> the last uh, part of this order, they are also all of the same specs, but different colors. And I don't know if they have the color names written down. I'm going to see if I can actually find the list on the order here. Um, okay, this was a beige and black crystal or black diamond was these. And then I have a bunch of their a velvet lux yarn. Velvet Lux is um, a base, basically a velvet or chenille yarn. Um, and lately I have found a little bit of a passion for making amigurumis. Um, and there is a few patterns that I would really like to try out and make um, just to have them. Or I don't know, you know, like I think they're like amigurumis are nice small projects. And the fact that you can. Um, wrap them up pretty quickly usually is kind of cool and then I thought okay I'm going to get one color of the skeins of their uh, velvet lock shines that I don't have yet which they still have on uh, storage so they didn't have all the colors I already also have two of their colors three of their colors which you show in the last Linda Hobby yarn hole video just in case, if you're in doubt about that, I will at the very end of this video link to that Lindian Hall hobby, like up here. Um, it will be like a little notion where you can click if you would like to watch that yarn haul video, where you can see the other yarns that I've gotten from the hobby last time I ordered, including the other Velvet Lux yarns. So the first yarn that I got here is the colorway called uh the colorway four it's named red and this is definitely a bright red it's a it's it's i would say it's as bright as it shows on the screen it's a really strong solid bright red this one it's almost like neon without being neon uh velvet lux from linda hobby um it is 100 percent soft polyester and this is really soft it's this is baby soft like really like I could cuddle this one, make a lovely blanket from it. Um, like blanket yarns, basically, could also be. Um, classic chenille yarn, of course. They recommend a six, a four to six millimeter crochet hooks or six to eight millimeter knitting needles. These skeins, they are all 100 grams each. So all of the skeins I'm about to show, they are the same specs. 100 grams is three and a half ounces. Or, uh, and they come at 120 meters, which is 131 yards. So um, they are nice, nice, not completely bulky, but definitely thinner than some of the yarns that I normally work with. Um, and they're really, really soft. Um, and I might 
have projects now where I've, I'm yarns short or whatever, and then I will just have to reorder, I guess. Um, I won't get the same dye lots for them, I'm aware of that. Um, but I might also just find some small projects where one skein is more than enough. So honestly, um, all of these games, I really have very limited ideas for them. I did buy two with the intention of making a turtle and that's it basically. Else I have like zero plans for them. Um, plushies. Uh, yeah, I'm grooming plushies. So don't top it dry, don't iron, can be washed at 30 degrees, so 85 Fahrenheit. Can be dry cleaned, uh, lay flat to dry, obviously. Um, don't dry clean. So uh, yeah, it's it's really it's a really soft one. So this is the red, and it is definitely a solid red. Then I got two in. I do believe it's called yeah light purple, light lilac. Actually, it's nice. It's written in English. Hey, I don't need to translate. Light purple is these two. And they are still so freaking soft. I get all like sleepy mode now. They are so nice and soft, these yarns. Um, and in fact, um, so normally when you buy like, I do believe then when you buy at least 10 of them, you get a discounted to like maybe 30% off or something like that. But when now I have the order offer of 40% off, that's like only two euros, 75 piece. And that's like 55 cents cheaper than when I just ordered 10 or more. So it was a great sale. And that's one of the reasons that I was like, okay, I'll just stock up on everyone. And then, you know, which I don't have, I will have at least one of each. Some of them I got two of, but generally I have one of each of the colors that was available. There are colors missing, which I don't have but they also didn't have in stock. I will mention those to you afterwards if you are interested. Um, then we have, this is a gorgeous one, isn't it? Mint green. I would say it's more like a light teal blue. It is gorgeous though. Um, mint green is this one. It's, it's just this strong colors and they go well together as well. Hmm. What's better with the purple, the, the, the lilac, the purple, I would say. Um, then we have this one, which is a navy blue. I definitely agree. This is a navy blue. Again, still absolutely gorgeous peeling navy blue. Then we have this one. That's a nice brown. It's called Brick. Like, consider them um, house bricks. I think it's matching. Like, when I'm looking here across the street, looking at the brick houses standing, I think that would probably be reasonable. That's probably like a brick color, yeah. It's a nice brick brown. Then I got this lovely brown, more browns. It's called bronze. I do agree. It's a nice shade, though. And depending on how the hair goes. It has different shine to it. Again, they are really, really soft feeling. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. Then I have milky brown. And as you can see, there are definitely different browns. This is definitely more like brown shaded, where this is uh, apparently milky brown. Then I have uh, two light browns here which isn't even called light brown, they're called a beige. Yeah, beige would probably be sufficient. So they do basically have these um, brick brown colors. They have like four of them. I think they're great together. Um, and then the last ones I got in this order, is this one which is olive green olive green and i have two of them so that was basically the chenille yarns that i got and you know i think there can be great combos in between um and all the length of the chenille yarns that i've gotten as of late within the last month 
they all having like same specs when it comes to uh, weight and length. Uh, so they are very uh, comparable. And I'm not sure if that's the case, but I think that I can easily combine them, intercombine them depending on what I need, which I think it's a great idea. Um, because sometimes different brands have different colors uh, and you might just have a different tone available to you that you otherwise um, wouldn't have available. Let's see. So the colors that I didn't get because they were sold out and still are sold out is, let's see, I got all these, 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 I think. Yeah, I have that one from last time. Um, I am missing the metal blue which is like a steel gray blue so it's um it's not even close to enough these colors but it's really like a steel gray metal blue um steel gray steel blue and then they also they were gray is also sold out it's called smoky but it's like a dark gray it's also sold out so i don't have one of those they oddly enough don't have a black in this um in this uh, line um, I think that's weird. Then their um, Equi White is sold out and their Pure White is sold out. But I have that from um, another brand for other projects. And if I have anything left, I'm probably going to combine it with these. Um, that's pretty much for it for this time. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to do that. Especially if you do like giveaways, Shan Hall, Shan Talks and much more. And of course, up here, we have my last yarn haul from Linda Hobby, which I mentioned a couple of times earlier in this video. Um, go give it a watch if you haven't watched it yet. And uh, I wish you happy crafting until I see you again. Take care. Bye.